So Swiggy, we scaled from 30 cities to 510 cities in nine months. Hi, I'm Saurabh Jain. I was at Swiggy from 2015 to 17. I was working there as chief of staff. Now I'm co-founder of Stable Money. I joined Swiggy after my first venture. It was a large single floor. The competition was very intense. How do we scale from here? And what is the best possible can be done? Vivek was asking for more. How can we do more? 20 cities a year will not help us. Right? So I had one intern who was working with me from Wits, and we actually presented a plan and number saying that Vivek first 300 should not be the aim. We should look for 500 cities. And from then we went on to first to second to multiple such conversation before realizing that, okay, I was assigned the task to scale from 30 cities to 500 cities. That's how it actually landed onto my plate, which is not planned. competition was very intense. How do we scale from here? And what is the best possible can be done? I still remember when there was a meeting with Vivek where the expansion team was projecting that, okay, we were doing one city every six months. And Vivek's question was, how do we scale from here? And the team presented a, a 20 city a year kind of a plan which was actually exponential from what we were doing initially to that. Vivek was asking for more. For us to go to 300, 400 cities uh, at that point in time would take us like four, five, six years to do that. Okay, how do we go to 300, 400? So I had one intern who was working with me from Wits. So I took that intern and started building a plan. Okay, what can be done and how can we achieve this? And we actually presented a plan and number saying that we make first 300 should not be the aim. We should look for 500 cities. And these are the 500 cities that we have thought looking at the data that could make sense for us. And from then we went on to first to second to multiple such conversation. Okay, I was assigned the task to scale from 30 cities to 500 cities. So that's how, that's how it actually landed onto my plate which is not planned. The first thing that I started doing was I spoke to the existing team and all the city teams about what did not work for the team. So that was very important for me more than what has worked for the team because I don't want to get biased around what has worked for the team. We looked at first the TG who are more closer to the TG that will be there in the 500 cities. So we had 30 cities and we have looked at the smaller cities of those and started talking to a lot of customers around why they are using Swiggy that customer base will have a very high overlap with the customer base that we'll have in 500 cities. And then there is one very interesting insight that came in. Because you go down the funnel, right? When you go from tier one metro cities to the tier two, tier three cities, you realize the lot of decision making around food is through the moms or the wives in that uh, family. And they take a lot of pride in cooking for their family. And outsourcing that task to somebody was very difficult. And how do we crack this? And that's where we started getting few insights, right? So moms were not okay to order a complete meal, but they're okay to order some part of the meal. Like for example, dessert you can do. Certain things that they were okay. So we started taking nudges around those. And then we started breaking it down a little. And then we realized that, okay, one very important data point for us to figure out is how many washing machines are sold? across these cities. And I'll tell you why that is very important. It's because any family who is spending money to reduce some task for the mom of that family would also be willing to spend some money for her to give a break. I started looking at the uh, washing machine data and started breaking it down and said that, okay, these are the cities which would make sense. So that's a very outside in perspective that we have got. And that's how we landed on to 500, 5, 530 kind of a, city. And then what we did interestingly is from those 530 cities, then we looked inside that Swiggy had a, a thousand employee at that point in time. And we started getting the data from the HR that tell us who belongs to which city. And we started getting data across that. And we have got around 80 cities from which people have come to Bangalore and are working at Swiggy. I started talking to those folks around knowing a little more about their hometowns, knowing a little more about the place where they have studied and what is important, what is not important, which are the critical restaurants, what is the general behavior, right? So that's how we started building the personas of every city. And that's how we build 500 cities ka persona that, okay, this is how the city is. And we broken it down into 50, 60 cities ka cluster. So there were five, six clusters that we have identified that these clusters are together. So we actually did not break it by states, 
we actually broke it by the demographics of that so i'll tell you then what we uh, did was we created a playbook across all these six clusters that how do we need to launch so there are three components first is the marketing component second is the supply component where you onboard a lot of restaurants and third is the delivery boy the toughest task is to onboard the supply because these restaurants were not first tech savvy they were happy with the business that uh, they were doing and second is obviously the commission handing over the commission and everything was very difficult for them supply was the the longest stat for us that you have to go you have to first identify the restaurants then you have to stack rank by the popularity of those restaurants which are popular and then obviously the popular restaurants are the difficult to crack and that team has to be there and physically they have to crack and this thing has to happen one city at a time and we wanted to decouple this we wanted to decouple onboarding restaurants physically for us to scale that was very important we looked at the data that we have got and interestingly we realized that swiggy being a, like a very famous brand at that point in time after doing ipo and everything a lot of people across a lot of cities in india have already downloaded the swiggy app so we looked at that data that which city how many people have downloaded and what are the searches that they have done for the restaurant let's say i have to talk to somebody in aurangabad i picked up the phone i called that person and saying that hey look you looked at swiggy i'm calling from swiggy and we are planning to launch in your city and we wanted some help from you and they were more than happy to help us with that then we started asking few things right we started giving them what are the key restaurants what are the important restaurants that are around what are the favorite dishes and all of that so then we set up an in-house team which actually collected the data across few thousand restaurants across this 500 cities okay in this city these are the 10 15 20 key restaurants these are the contact details and if anybody has any references from swiggy or outside we started approaching those restaurants from hq before actually going there so eventually when we went from launching one city every 6 months to launching seven cities a day eventually a lot of cities the supply was completely onboarded before actually somebody from swiggy steps a foot in that city india is a kind of market where first mover advantage is not so important last mover has a very big advantage because at at that point in time our competition was also parallel launching one city after another but obviously the approach was different and then we started looking at how do we follow the suit in most of the cities that we launch we were not actually the first one to launch we were actually the second one to launch the important factor there was that the gap between the competition going live in that city versus you going live in that city has to be minimized so as soon as the competition went live we had a playbook in mind that okay once the competition goes live these are the things that we will do and we will launch in 10 days after the competition goes live because it also takes some time for the competition to settle down to see what is working what is not working restaurant people have some experience of getting on board it so they will not mind swiggy coming in and asking for the contract to get signed asking for the commission because all of that work is already been done by the competitor we also looked at the cities which might not make sense for the competition or everybody who will just look at the cities by the population and start stack ranking but i remember we launched gangtok we launched uti we launched very small towns which were actually the tourist destination and then we said that we don't need to be present in this city full time we just need to be present in that city for the time period when there is a peak tourist season so we actually launched cities like uh, uti and few more tourist places where we were like only for 6 months and shut down and come back the most important thing in all of this was how do you build such a large team i remember still having a 500 member team across who is just running across this right and imagine you are launching one city after another and you need to put a lot of processes because there are so many people traveling like just the travel desk was of four to five member who was just supporting the expansion team because so many people have to travel from one city to another cities to another cities to something something else coming back to bangalore and the processes that were set initially was not so fast so there was a lot of collaboration and alignment that i need to do in hq across the different functions i realized that to do that collaborations you can't just go to that person and say that okay now collaborate you had to build that up over time so when we started doing all of this i took every single opportunity possible to communicate to the leadership team to communicate to the everybody across the different function that okay what we are doing what are the learnings that we have i still remember we had on that floor we have taken one big wall in which we have put the india map and we used to celebrate every city that used to get launched 
launched and we used to plan put some cities saying that okay these cities are coming so this just creates a lot of visibility across all the functions that are there and then getting support from those functions becomes very easy for you and that's how we scaled us we gave from 30 to 510 cities and if you find this uh, insightful join me at growthx